<clears throat> I'm going to say this and go to bed because I'm tired. <clears throat> Regarding Garfield and this degree and all these fake names and bullshit, let me tell you something. A lot of y'all may not know the history. Let me help you use your own logic and think better. Okay? First of all, I've been telling you Garfield's a habitual liar. The name thing was a lie. He introduced himself to people in the community as if Garfield reads his name. People are saying Garfield Reed isn't his name. So it was some kerfuffle of him being exposed and using the name Garfield Reed and that wasn't his. Then once he gets exposed, he's in today's time acting like he's just using an internet name. No, you've been caught lying. And it's just like Brother Polite. Let me help you niggas. He's just like Brother Polite. When people used to ask why Polite ain't doing no time for all these scams. Why he ain't getting busted and all this old shit. He wasn't using his government name. <laughs> A lot of times. Especially on documents and shit. You know what I mean? Anyone hiding their name is not keeping it 100. They're not the type of man that keeps it 100. There's no need for a grown-ass, so-called responsible man to hide as if someone's after them. The only reason people hide is because they have skeletons in their closet, meaning they've been doing dirt. They have a fucked-up history. Period. There's no other reason. Let me tell you, since you guys can't think. So, even claiming that's not his name speaks volumes to the person's integrity, honesty, ethics, and morality. My name is Varian Xavier Shelton. Full name. A real one can tell you that. If you can't tell people your name, you're not a real one, period. It's not rocket science. You can trick your mind into, okay, I just want to remain as friends and be down, you know, so I'm just going to help him lie. And No, stop that. Stop that, y'all. You have to stop. The community cannot change. Unless everybody's on board and forcing the change. You can't go hard on one fraud, but let this fraud pass. You got to call these niggas on their shit. Check this out. I have no proof what the nigga name is. If it is or isn't. He said it wasn't. He said it was. <laughs> if you hit the, if I hit the streets right now, and I walk up to a young lady, like Garfield has done, and I say, "Hey, my name is Michael Johnson, baby. Can I take you to lunch?" She obliges me. We be build a relationship. For weeks, months, in a year, she thinks my name is Michael Johnson. I deceived her. I lied to her. I My credibility has sunk with her if she finds out my name is something different. Listen, Garfield has met women and done this. All these women that he's flirted with or dated and flew out of town to see thinks his name is Garfield Reed. This is not, this is fucking simple math, people. He's a habitual liar. Then they have a show 
And two different people said they seen his degree. One person said they seen his degree with the name Garfield Reed. The other person said they seen his name, his degree, with his real name, whatever that is. <laughs> Deceit. It's no way out of being a habitual liar and an immoral piece of shit. You understand what I'm saying? Guilty as charged. You don't go around telling people your name. Listen, I can see if you have a nickname. If I tell somebody I'm Chief X, you know, somebody says I'm um, 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 whatever their nickname is. That's no problem. We People use nicknames. But when you go to the point where you develop a first name and a last name, and neither are your real name, that's deceit and intentional lies. That's not just my internet name. <laughs> no, buddy. <laughs> that's not just, well, what would you need an internet name for? What are you people scared of? What's in that closet? What's in that closet? Another thing. Garfield, stop telling niggas. Used to be down with the NOI. You may have went to the mosque or two, but your nigga, you was never suited and booted. Garfield Reed, you were never a registered Muslim with the Nation of Islam. I don't believe you. See, this is what you should have done. I tell people my flashpoint was a nation of Islam. Went to the mosque every Sunday religiously. But I'm always honest and say, hey, I was never a registered Muslim or suited and booted. I used to just attend the meetings at the mosque. I used to go to study groups with them. They knew me. What's up, man? So I don't have to front <laughs> like I was a nation of Islam member. To try to impress. Garfield, you was never a Nation of Islam member. You fucking liar. Just say you was down with the movement and keep it fucking real. I guarantee you, you can't prove it. Ain't nobody ever seen you in a bow tie. Show a picture with you in a bow tie and a suit, nigga. I could be wrong. I'll stand to be corrected. I don't believe you. I'm too wise to be fallen from any by anything you say. Garfield Reed, you don't have a degree. People, Garfield Reed does not have a bachelor's degree. Garfield is just like these motherfucking rappers out here who've been rapping till they're 40 years old and shit and never really make it, never get a deal, but I always think it's a chance. These starving rappers, that's what Garfield was. A starving R&B artist. Listen to me. I know the nigga kind. Who never really wanted a job. And I always slick talking and going on and running off at the mouth and shit and fronting and claiming he's something he ain't. It didn't work out in the music industry for you. And Godfrey, you got a little talent singing. I'm not a hater. I mean, it's not nothing, you know, you're not like, wow, he can really sing, but you're okay. <laughs> you can't hit no motherfucking notes and shit. I grew up in gospel. My mom and daddy sang gospel. You all right. That's why you didn't make it. But he was just like a starving rapper. Always trying because a nigga didn't want to go to get a job. Niggas like that don't go to college. They might check into a community college because family and shit. You know, family be on your ass and shit. Nigga, you need to do something with your life and such and such. And niggas make attempts and start going to community colleges and shit. What's on the back of your book? Talking about your life? You said you went to community college. You didn't mention nothing about a degree because you don't have one. But anyway, if you had said you had a degree on there, usually people would at least mention the university they went to. But you couldn't do that, so that was just too much. So you just left it alone and said, hey, I went to community college. <laughs> Yeah, so, <clears throat> uh, 
um, um, um. Yeah, and he, Garfield ain't that disciplined to go to college. He barely can get the damn book out. He was He's not the kind of person that is disciplined enough to go to a university and obtain a bachelor's degree. When, when, see, a lot of y'all may not have professional friends. All my lady friends and people in my life and my sisters are already nursing. I mean, we, we, I can tell people's language if they've been to school. Because I guarantee, because usually you will always hear 100% of the time, any nigga, you're going to hear a school story out their mouth from time to time. You know how you reminisce. Like, I may tell some Navy stories of what happened when I was in the Navy. Garfield ain't never told no motherfucking college story. Garfield ain't never told you he was with the BSU. Niggas Garfield's age, I'm a old, little older than Garfield, but I'm not that much older. <laughs> All of us who grew up and shit. And was about anything. And if he talking about nation. It's, I, I know this nigga kind. We was with the BSU. If we was at a university. The black student union. Garfield ain't never mentioned no black student union. Garfield wasn't with no black student union. Garfield you ain't got no motherfucking degree. And that's why you can't make, prove it. And get this hundred dollars. Whatever you showed anybody. Was a fake ass template that you can get off online. You know why? Because I called Garfield on this bullshit. On that Doggy Diamonds thing a year ago. Y'all just talking about this degree. I was telling you niggas a fucking year ago. And you wasn't listening. So I've had way, 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 way more time to think about this than you. And my wisdom is deeper than you. So let me tell you what's happening. When Garfield made his first claim to have a degree, the heat was on. At that point, he had to, or else face total embarrassment. He had to create some type of fraudulent paperwork in case the day he is forced to prove himself. And show his degree. So whatever anybody seen. Is fake as fuck. Let me tell you. Now. He can bust me out. And make me look all wrongs. But nigga you just got to do it. I take that motherfucking chance. I'm going with my gut. My gut ain't always been right. But my gut is 90% right. And I don't think you that 10%. I don't. And if you bust a degree and prove it and tell the university so people can do their own outside of research and find out if that's true, I don't believe you. And I think you're a fucking liar about the degree. And you niggas talking, don't just bring up that he lied about a degree. I showed about 10 fucking 20 lies in my live stream. Don't leave out that shit. Don't leave out him taking that $1,400 from somebody to $900 and fucking them over. And Don't leave out none of that shit. <laughs> you can't save that nigga. <laughs> Trying to lessen the blow. Nah. Garfield's a piece of shit. And the only reason... Because anybody got a following that's decent and can get over 2,000 views sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Y'all gonna cater to them just to be seen and heard. And I understand it. So, I just want to make the air clear. Garfield don't have an degree and he lied. And he uses a fake name. For legal purposes. He's been lying to women. All on social media. Telling them his name is Garfield Reed. There's no such thing as an internet name. That's just a fucking lie. You either have a nickname. And leave it at that. 
or your real name. But you don't develop a first name and a last name and then just go about the world on your website saying to people, this is your name. Didn't the nigga say his name was Garfield and Reed on the website? That's fraudulent shit. And his name ain't. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm just guessing, throwing shit out there. I, you know, I'm a little confused. Why would anybody be confused anyway if a man is upright and real? What is all the teeth pulling and wondering and sketching over? That's a sketchy motherfucker. This shit ain't hard to figure out. Listen here. Charleston White. His real name is Charleston White. <laughs> you think he give a fuck about telling people his real name? No, because he's a real one. Right? Ain't nobody looking for Garfield to harm this nigga. Nobody gives a fuck about Garfield. So he has no reason to hide and, and use a internet name or whatever the fuck. Or use a fake name. Except being a fake person. Nobody's after him. So the only reason to use a fake name is that you're just deceitful. Yep. And I ain't letting up off you. Into a, I ain't letting up off several niggas. We can go for four. You can face embarrassment after embarrassment after embarrassment. Until the, I hear the words apology out of a couple of you niggas. I'm never letting up. Because I tried on two occasions. I, on two occasions. To make amends and squash shit with one nigga. Just recently a day ago. Brother. Uh. So I made two attempts. He made one attempt and failed. And in the process. Just yesterday. This brother Ankh, who claims to never talk about family members and shit. Y'all know that. It's a, he's a fucking liar. Who claims to call my mother a bitch and a whore. Just yesterday. Ask him or Shep, did I insult his mother ever? Even after this fourth time insulting my mama. Some weirdo shit. <laughs> what do you I'm trying. The conscious community is weird. They allow anything. There's no moral compass. <laughs> it's crazy. Hundreds of people on, uh, on YouTube and social media scared of each other. Hundreds of people. Yeah. Shit crazy. Sometimes you... You know what pipe smoking is good for? I don't know why. But pipe smoking... And I don't inhale, so... I'm not all that. Pipe smoking... Allows you to think and ponder. Sometimes I light this motherfucking pipe... And go sit on the back, back porch... And just think about the old days. I think about the future. And I just pipe smoke and think and ponder. Garfield. Get real with yourself. Start representing your wife like a real man should. Get online, get on, I dare you, I dare you to come on, on, on YouTube and say I love my wife. <laughs> Garfield can't even say this, people. You know why? He's such a piece of shit. He think he might not be able to get an outside piece of pussy if he represent his wife. When have you ever heard, listen, I'm going to tell you from a wise man point of view, from pondering. <laughs> if a man refuses to represent his wife, that's not a real one. He's a piece of shit. Listen, 
I hear Corey and Sheffrey represent their wives and their family all the time. Corey say, my wife. I like that. Real men do that shit. Sheffrey said, my wife. These niggas is getting pussy. They ain't got to be tripping on trying to hotep hustle the community and shit. Corey's a do concrete, got a job. Sheffron got a hair, got a, a, a barbershop and do his thing. These men represent their wife. Chief X represents his lady friend. I tell you about her all the time. You understand what I'm saying? Even Ock, punk ass. When he was with his wife, he did rep his wife and say, my wife, at least. Garfield, you's a piece of shit. Why you fronting like you don't have a wife? I've never said nothing about your wife, so why'd you lie on me and say I did? I'm just telling you, you got a wife. Now, if telling you that you have a wife bothers you so much to the point you feel is disrespectful, I feel sorry for your wife. Because you just using her and don't love her, it seems. That's just the vibe I get. <laughs> hey, y'all, them edibles didn't kicked in, so I'm just talking and ranting, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, a man that habitually lies to everybody about his name, tries to act like he has a higher education than he does in front. And who don't represent his wife. And the only reason you have to you have to represent your kids, that's a good thing to do. But they're with you. I mean, we hear them, so I mean, well, you have no choice on that one. So, I was just about to take my ass to bed, but I just wanted to get that off my chest. Because I heard folk talking about shit and making excuses. <laughs> Or Garfield, you understand know I me? Mean? And people in here. Nah, I'm not gonna let him fool you. <laughs> That's the thing. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you be fooled, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Garfield, show us your first name on your driver's license. Just your first name. Cover all that. Show us your first name in the picture. <laughs> Scary ass nigga. What you got in your past? You got a sex crime? Is that what you hiding from? You registered? That I'm just these are the reasons I'm thinking a nigga be hiding. Maybe that nigga got a sex crime. He don't want nobody to know. The type of business you do is scammy. I mean, it's just so much much against you. Okay, I'm going to tell you again. Don't make me bring out another victim on your ass. Chief X hears shit. People come to Chief X. Don't make me listen to what I'm telling you. Bro. You're going to be facing more embarrassment. You better start speaking my name in a good light. And I need to hear an apology from you and Unc. I'm not letting up. It's war. <laughs> Sometimes you got to, you know, engage in war tactics to practice and shit for some real time. <laughs>